last episode, I shared eight tips for SEO, techniques that can help you improve your rankings in search results. In this episode, I talk about your appearance in search results with extra attention to products. My name is Alan Kent, and I'm a developer advocate at Google, focusing on e-commerce. Let's get into it. Your ranked position within search results is obviously important. The higher on the list, the more likely you are to be seen and visited. Well, another way to stand out is your visual appearance in search results. Originally, search results were text and blue links. These days, search results are shown in different ways to help users more easily understand the results. Images can help users better understand your product. Star ratings can help increase user trust. And pricing and availability data can help users choose between sellers. So let's look at six tips on how to improve your appearance in search results. The first tip is to check the title links Google is showing for your products in search results. A good title link can greatly help users understand your offering, bringing quality traffic to your site. Title links are normally extracted from the title element in the HTML markup of pages. If Google thinks a title looks incomplete or does not match the page contents, it may look at other sources, such as the main visual heading of the page or even the source text of links to the page. If you automatically generate page product titles from product attributes, take care to avoid duplicated information or poorly formatted titles due to missing data. Low quality title links can harm a user's impression of your site. Another challenge with title links is there can be a lag of multiple days before an update on your website is visible in search results. This means putting dynamic information in a title such as current stock levels or price, is not recommended. A simple way to check how your titles appear in search results is to perform a site search specifying the URL. In the Google search box, enter site, colon, and then the URL of your page. It is a good idea to check multiple pages to ensure title links are as expected. If no match is found, use the URL inspection tool to check that a page has been indexed. Collecting site analytics data can help determine the effectiveness of different titles. If you try to change the title over time to see which works better, make sure you allow sufficient time for Google to index each variation. Experimenting with different titles can help determine the importance to your customers of different product attributes, such as brand name. To improve your title links, check out Control Your Title Links in Search Results on Google Search Central. Follow the provided advice as best you're able. The second tip is to include high quality images that showcase your products. Google may display these images directly in search results. We've observed that users generally respond well to high quality images and recommend that key images be at least 1200 pixels wide. Again, the best way to see if product images are being shown in Google search results for a page is to perform a Google site query, specifying the URL of the page. You may also like to perform an image search, specifying your domain name in a site query. The first step to improve images in search results is to replace any lower quality images with higher quality ones. Then, review robot settings such as Max Image Preview which provides guidance to Google on how you'd like images to be treated in search results. For more details, check out Robots Meta Tag, Data No Snippet, and XRobots Tag specifications in Google Search Central documentation. Also, if your images are not appearing in search results, consider adding product structured data to your product pages, which leads me into the next tip. Tip number three is to share rich product data with Google. If Google does not correctly understand the intent of your pages, you may miss out on special presentation treatments in search results. One way to help Google understand pages is using structured data, additional markup you add to your web pages. For example, there are structured data types for recipes, how-to guides, articles, and products. For a longer list, see Explore the Search Gallery 
in Google Search Central, which documents structured data types and common presentation formats supported by Google Search. For products in search results, it is re recommended to at least include the product title, description, images, product ratings, price, and availability. If you've added structured data to your pages, but not seeing any special presentation, check the page using the URL inspection tool to make sure it is being indexed. Then try the Rich Results Test tool to see if it identifies any errors in your markup. Errors reported by the Rich Results Testing tool provide guidance on what to fix in your structured data. If you're using a platform that does not give you control over structured data, you may need to contact your platform vendor for assistance. Another problem that can occur is Google may include information from your page that you do not want shared in search results. Check out the no snippet controls in the robots documentation I mentioned earlier for different ways to request Google to exclude contents from search result listings. Oh, and as a final note, you can also supply product data via Google Merchant Center feeds. I'm going to dig into Google Merchant Center and its relevance to search in a future episode. Tip number four is to highlight that if you share pricing product data, Google may highlight price drops in product rich results. Price drops are calculated by Google based on the running historical average of your product's pricing. Price drops, along with some other experiences, are not available in all countries. To see if price drops are being displayed, check your products in search results. Be aware, however, that it can be hit and miss as Google doesn't guarantee to display all price drops. And you have to get the timing right due to Google indexing delays. To be eligible for price drop display, make sure you have an offer in your product structured data the price in the offer must be a specific value and not a range. In addition, it can be worth checking the Rich Results tool for structured data errors. Tip number five is to clearly identify which products you sell by providing accurate product identifiers, such as GTIN identifiers. This is best done using a combination of Google Merchant Center feed and product structured data on pages. This can increase your exposure and experiences that list products with multiple sellers per product, such as the top products carousel. The final tip is, if your business has a physical presence, create a Google Business Profile. This can be done via the Google Business Profile Manager. Business profiles are displayed, when appropriate, alongside search results. At this time, Pure online businesses are not eligible for a business profile. Only businesses with a physical presence, such as a physical store or a service area they cover, can have a profile created. Google is always exploring new ways to help users understand search results. Over the years, search results have become increasingly visual, and this trend is likely to continue. The best long-term advice is to provide Google rich structured data describing your products. It is also recommended to create a Google Merchant Center feed with product data updates. Google can then use this data to present your pages in search results in a more engaging way to shoppers performing searches. If you found this video useful, please subscribe to get notified of new content. Google Search Central publishes new videos weekly to help website owners get the most out of Google search. Thanks for watching.